Buffs had their spring game last Saturday, showcasing what to expect in the upcoming fall season, as well as what has changed on the football team since Coach Prime was hired. The day started off with the legendary Peggy Copham kicking the first game ball, followed by the kickoff and immediate touchdown by number 10, Dylan Edwards. Clearly, the Buffs were much faster than in previous years and bigger, too, despite the claims of the team looking too small. Phenomenal, Sanders said at his post-game press conference. I'm amazed and stoked, if that's the proper word, about the attendance, the energy, and electricity. Walking out of the locker room with the team was unbelievable. It was one of those moments that you will never forget. Despite the cold, snowy weather the night before, the grounds crew came in full force and cleared the field in time for kickoff. Although the snow didn't hold off for our spring game, it made for great footage and candidates on and off the field. Temperatures were in the upper 20s for the majority of the game, however, that didn't stop Buff fans from showing up. Attendance at the game was 47,277, which was larger than all but two of CU's home games last season. Sanders opened the game with a 75-yard scoring drive, wrapping it up with a 14-yard scoring toss to Travis Hunter, who will no doubt be one of his favorite targets. Sanders then added a 98-yard scoring strike to Montana Lamonius Craig before finishing the number one unit stay with a 7-yard scamper into the end zone. One area Sanders said, stating during his press conference, that needed work were his special teams. Special teams, as far as extra point and field goal, were horrible, Sanders said. It was hot garbage. I got tired and didn't want to see that anymore, so I kept them from kicking in the second half. Sanders has said he's not yet finished reshaping CU's roster. The weekend was a big recruiting weekend for the Buffs, and there will likely be some additions via the transfer portal in the near future.